100% Chelsea. City one, Chelsea nil. All around, mate. Awful today. Awful. Doesn't begin to describe how bad we were. Sinchenko, the man who was playing that left back, he's an attacking midfielder. We made him look like he'd been playing left back for years, and he's only like 20 years old. We kept giving the ball away. I like, don't actually know your man's name that was just talking there. But he's saying, like, we were panicking against Manchester City. Realistically, these players, these, all these, most of these players are champions of England, right? They shouldn't be panicking against Manchester City. They're. This should be the this should be the games where they really turn it on, not panic by kicking the ball away. There's, there was something really, really wrong, and like you you were saying, if the plan was to hoof the ball up the pitch, why on earth would you have Pedro, Hazard, and waiting up there? No disrespect to them, as I'm a midget myself, but I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not. If they're not, if I'm not gonna win a header, they're not gonna win a header. So I don't get why you're hoofing the ball up. The and did Conte get it wrong today? Absolutely, one hundred percent. He got it wrong. As in before, like but before, I've been Conte in, but just after today, like some of the even the, some of the substitutions were bizarre. Like Hazard coming off, I thought Emerson was even a bit of a bizarre substitution. Although to be fair, Emerson put a bit of effort in when he came on. As in, I didn't see much of effort from a lot of the players out there. Hazard was our bright spark, and that's saying something because he actually didn't do a lot. Pedro was just god awful. Like I don't think I've. As in, I actually, I like, before today I was like, oh, Pedro, as in, he's had his up and downs, but today it was just absolutely atrocious. There's times where he could have, like, there was just, I don't know what, the, what was happening today, but the players weren't connecting with each other. As in, like, maybe Marcus Alonso might have the ball, and Pedro should have been making a run, and he just didn't make the run. So we were forced to play it backwards and sideways. Like, backwards and sideways is the worst thing you can do. I remember being at Arsenal and Chelsea a couple of years ago, 6 0 Chelsea. All Arsenal were doing, playing backwards and sideways football, and they got battered 6 0. And we were the exact same today. We were, we were, at times, I thought we were lucky not to be a couple more goals, but also, um, City, uh, also we could have been uh, equalised as well with that Moses chance. Like, what the hell was he doing? Hit it with your other foot. You're a professional footballer. You have two feet when you should have two feet. Mm. I mean, this this is this is true. I mean, what would you have done differently? Would you have st obviously start on a striker? Is, I mean, that's a no-brainer, right? I would have started Giroud. As I said earlier on, Morata can't score in a brothel, and like. Morata doesn't even look like he's interested half the time. You were saying he flops around like a fish. As in, he, flop, he flops around like a fish out of water. As in, it, it's just continuously crap. And Giroud looks like he wants to be there. As in, Giroud's been here, like, just over two months now. And he cares so much. As in, I saw, like, when he came on today, I was like, holy shit, this guy actually cares. As in, he sees whatever, 3,000 of us uh, here. You guys came up from London, I came from Dublin. There was guys behind me that travelled 10 and a half hours from LA to watch that. Like, that is not on. And Drew, and Drew was the only person like I felt really, really wanted to win. Like, how can that happen at Chelsea? As in, you're playing for Chelsea, one of the best teams in England, one of the supposed best teams in Europe, and you give a performance like that. Where do you go from here?